Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Collinwood, and I'm here to do my Dark Shadows character retrospective of Roger Collins. My thoughts on Roger are one that I really had to think about because there were so many words I wanted to use to define him, but really <clears throat> only one word came to mind when at the end of this, and that was pride. I felt, raw, in my opinion, Roger was very proper. And proud fool, really, too. He doesn't want any embarrassment or disgrace, uh, disgrace to fall upon the Collins family. Yet, he commits it by framing a man for manslaughter, a crime he committed. I also felt he felt entitled, too. Um, and some, you know, rich people tend to, too. And I felt... You know, Lewis Edmonds played that part so well. Here's this character who has a lot of money. <laughs> Here's a character who likes to spend his money. And does he know about love? I do feel he loved his sister and eventually did love his son. But I think his love is more money. His love is more... How do you say the lifestyle itself? He's more about the Collins way than, you know, the other characters themselves. He thinks he's above them. For, for what he accuses Bert Devlin of, really, of being this monster, this egotistical... He's the same damn way in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, him and Burke can tend to be alike. Though, too, that there are differences. They do have their soft sides. They have their moments. Um, did Roger love Laura? Laura Collins. I feel he was infatuated with her as far as love. No, I don't feel he was ever in love with her. Um... But I will do Laura Collins, by the way, too. Um, again, did he love David? Did Roger love David? I think here's... So, Roger, too, here, here's another thing. He doesn't want to understand anyone else's situation. I've, I've always found this interesting of him. He doesn't give a shit about Victoria's situation. He doesn't even care to find out what it is. Um... He does get nosy. There will be times he's curious about someone's situation, but it has to be, it has to involve him. And it, and it also has to involve the Collins name. If it involves the Collins name, or he feels it involves the Collins name, then he's curious and interested. Other than that, he doesn't give two shits about it. And I always found that curious because. I always felt he should have he should have been the one who pried harder into the Victoria Winners angle. He should have been the one, and he did press Liz at it. But when Liz, do you want to you know threaten to throw him out? That was it. That was the end of it. I always felt secretly he should have been going behind her back, trying to find out what what was the deal. Because I could see him, he could have been the one doing it. And people would say, why not Burke? Because Burke was at a distance. Even though Burke had these private investigators, Burke's not living there. Burke's not in Collinwood. Roger could have found out why exactly a governess got brought to Collinwood. He could have been that person. I always felt they could have did more with him from that standpoint. From his character... Retro, from this character retrospective, is there something else I wanted to see him do? <clears throat> I always felt the hatred between him and David should have lasted a little longer. But I think, though, too, if you do that, it's how do you put over Victoria winners. And I liked the, the fact that there was always sort of this tent, even though there wasn't so much tense words like later on in the series, there were these tense moments you felt they were just going to implode at each other. <clears throat> so, 
do I think he deserved to have his bleeder valve removed from his car? Hey, man, that was David Collins. Give Dave, give David the credit for a kid who removed any kid who removes the bleeder valve of his dad's car. De definitely at least gets a nomination in the Evil Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay. The one thing, though, too, I did want from Roger. They did show this early on. They showed this in the beginning episodes where with the Bill Malloy thing where he would run, help with the business. I felt they should have got into that with him a little more. What was his key role? It seemed like he was trying to manage things. And we know he went to the... We did see those things. We did see him go there. But I sort of wanted to see the inner workings of the entire fleet. That's something I really wish they would have did with him down there at the cannery. Um, they did show a little bit of it. They did show some of it, but no, I don't. I feel there should have been more there. Um, do I like the character Roger Collins? Yeah, I've often said I like both Dark Shadows characters, if not all. Um, <clears throat> I will be doing with Laura Collins this month as well. Um, I'm also going to give my thoughts on this whole Batman thing right after this video. So. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about Roger Collins. Do I think he was an alcoholic? Um, I, I think no, but I think he do, did love to drink. He He's not Sam Evans. This isn't Sam Evans who's just drinking the drink. I think he just drinks because he can. He can get his own, um, you know, drink anytime he wants. He lives in Collinwood. He's rich. It's like I said, he's entitled. He, and he loves the fact that he is entitled. <laughs> and that's the one thing I didn't want to leave here and not say. He loved... Out of all the Collins family members living in the 1966, he loves the lifestyle the most out of all of them. Until you meet Quentin. I think prior to Quentin, Roger in a lot of ways could have been Quentin in many, many ways. If you look at the characters and their uniqueness of each other, that Roger is loving the lifestyle and he enjoys it. And he does. And here's the thing too. Here's why the cover up too with the old man sort of thing. He enjoys the lifestyle so much and the distinguishing of being a Collins. He doesn't want to lose it, and that's why the cover up. Am I saying I feel sorry for him for lying? No, he should have told the truth, but I get why he did it. So, alright guys, that's my Roger Collins retrospective. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.